Good day, great day, blessed day, people. I am back with another video, back with another review, back with another vlog. I am back. And today's video is on multiple sneakers. I'd like to start with this being All-Star Weekend coming up. Salt Lake City, Utah, massive restocks on a lot of major releases as far as the retros go that you might have missed on last year, such as the Cherries, Jordan 2's, Chicago's, which was, I think, yeah, that was last year too, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Cherries, Jordan 2, Chicago's, Lost and Founds, not to mention whatever else they might add to that list. So if you're in Salt Lake City, Utah for the All-Star Game, hit up whatever sneaker stores you can because I'm pretty sure it won't just be Champs and Foot Locker. It's probably going to be some of those other stores that are doing restocks, including your Nike factory stores. Moving on, let's talk Air Jordan 1 High 85 Black and White. Some people been calling it the Panda. Call it whatever you want to. It's the Air Jordan Retro 1 85 cut, which is going for $200 tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. my time, Central Standard. I'm assuming that this release of the Jordan 1 85 cut is, it's gotta be limited because I tried to enter on Foot Locker, Foot Locker's FLX and it wouldn't let me enter. It wouldn't let me enter for reservation at all. And it said that there was no store within a hundred miles of Chicago that has the release. I cannot believe that. So for whatever reason, my FLX was just, it was totally wilding out on me. So I probably will not even attempt. No, I take that back. I will attempt for the 85 highs on the Snickers app. That's my only hope. Most of the time when that's my only hope, I hit. So, double crossing my fingers, crossing my toes and everything else as far as that 85 cut go. Moving on, again, we have the Women's Laney, AKA Game Royal and Varsity Maze. This sneaker is going to be $180 and it is set to release this upcoming Friday, women's sizes only. So you guys know how that works. Um, it's still available for everybody up until a certain size. I want to say a women's size 13. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I am because myself, I really don't purchase the women releases. Nothing against any of you guys that buy the women releases. I just don't. <laughs> No particular reason, I just, I just don't buy it. But I'm assuming from what I can see that this sneaker is going to be much more available than the Jordan 1 85 black and white. It's definitely on the Foot Locker app, but it's not on the Champs. I don't know why, but I don't see anything on Champs about this particular sneaker. And my personal favorite, this sneaker is releasing Saturday the 18th. I'm pretty sure you guys know what this sneaker is. It is the Jordan 13 playoffs, which the only problem that I have with this sneaker is the price point, which is $210. 13 is already sick. I understand that the sneaker is iconic. I'm not going to say somewhat iconic because it is an iconic Jordan colorway, but 13s always sit so why would you lift the price why would you raise the price to 210 dollars why would you raise the price to 210 and you weren't even selling at 190 it makes no sense to me will i cop yes i will is there a sense of urgency to cop no there is not because they're gonna sit i'm pretty sure everybody who's interested in this sneaker you're going to be able to go to any store and walk in on the day of the release this upcoming saturday and i'm pretty sure it's going to be available to you that's just me saying that i could be wrong 
the sneaker might sell out. It might surprise me and everybody else and sell out and be one of the first 13s to just go nuts. This not a collab. Hell, the collabs don't even sell out. So I cannot expect this sneaker to sell out. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. I'm not going to keep you guys too long. That is today's video. Just wanted to update you guys on what we have coming out for All-Star Weekend in my area, potentially in your area also. That is today's video. If you like today's video, click the like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, I love you guys. And before I say that I'm out, I'd like to thank everyone that reached out to me about my mom's passing. I'd like to thank all of you guys for your condolences and and I hope I hope I'm able to stay focused. No, I will stay focused to keep this channel growing and to keep this channel going. Even though it's been hard lately. But we're going to we're going to keep things we're going to keep things going. I'm pretty sure she would want me to keep things going. And to stay strong. But I appreciate you guys for all of your condolences and special thoughts, prayers. I love you guys. I'm out.